Hi, today I'm going to show you uh, animation in Photoshop. Uh, what I have here is just a demonstration um, of a bouncing cat. Um, as you can see there, I just looked that up. Yeah, a bouncing cat. Um, we're going to use the same principles. We'll have 10 frames of a ball um, bouncing up and down, 5 frames going up, 5 frames going down. As you can see there. Um, so we'll just stop this, close, close the group and get started. So what you need to do is open yourself a new page and when you've got that page open, first thing we'll do is grab ourselves the paintbrush and draw ourselves a line across the of the page to represent the ground. Okay, so that's the ground. For every frame we need a new layer. So we're going to create a new layer. Come over and grab the Eclipse tool. Change the colour, so we'll make it a red ball. And draw our first frame. Now we'll put that at the top of the screen. So that's the ball at its peak, in full, at full height. Next frame, the ball is starting to drop. Third frame. A little bit further. Now, as gravity takes its hold and hold, take, takes its hold on the ball, the ball moves quicker and quicker towards the ground. So, because the ball moves quicker towards the ground, we leave bigger spaces between each frame. Okay, so uh, that was layer, uh, that was frame four. Now, frame five, the ball is almost on the ground, and. Net, and it's frame six, so we're going to start with the ball heading back up. So the ball, this shot one is the ball hitting the ground. Um, because the ball is hitting against a solid object, we're going to have it deform and squash that down. Next frame is the ball rebounding on its way back up, so slightly al uh, elongated. Um, and just there, frame eight. At it uh, rebounds quite quickly, so we'll leave bigger spaces on the way up. Frame 9. And last of all, frame 10. Up there. Okay, so there are 10 frames. So let's have a quick through it. Our 10 frames, so frame 1, ball up in the air, frame 2, on its way down, ball hits the ground, bouncing back up, and back up to the top. So how do we make it animate? Okay, what we do is we go up to the window tab at the top of the screen, drop that down, and then click animation. When that pops up, you may already have this uh, convert to frame window, uh, convert the frame animation window already up. Generally, it comes up with this this one first. So, what you want to, the timeline first. So, what we're going to do is come down to the right hand corner and just click this little tab here. And then we've got our one frame. What we want to do is flatten that and make each layer a frame. So, come to the the, the top corner here, drop down the menu, and make frames from layers. Okay, so you can see there a ball, a bouncing ball in the arc. Now, we want this frame one to be our background layer. There is nothing in this layer at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll just bring that over and delete it, and then select frame one, hold down shift, and also select frame ten. So all ten frames are selected. Come down to your layers library and just turn the background on. So now every layer is it's not, uh, the background is on in every layer. Um, uh, all we need to do now is set a time because if we press play now or play, that will be super quick. So we'll, I'll just give you another, demonstration, another look at that. So you can see that very quick. So we'll just stop that. I'll move this out of the way again. And we'll select 10 frames, come down to the time, 
and we'll make it go for uh, 0.2 seconds. And we'll just press play. There we go, we can see our ball bouncing. Um, it might even look better if we go back down to one. There we go, so there's our bouncing ball. Now, this is just a, a basic animation just to give you an idea of how it works. Um, you can play around with it and do uh, a lot of things. Uh, walk cycles are quite cool, are quite cool in, uh, in Photoshop, just doing each step of the walk cycle and then bringing it in here and seeing how it works. Um, if you want, you can play around with it. We can grab the first frame, grab the ball and move that over here. Second frame, move it over here. Third frame, move it here. Fourth frame, over here. Fifth frame, sixth frame, whatever it is. Seventh frame. Eighth frame. So you can just move. You can move. You can move stuff. Just uh, this animation thing is unlimited by your imagination, as a lot of people say. So you can do a lot of things with this, um, and don't be afraid to try it. Um, and this one over here. So if we just move this out of the way and press play. We can see now that the ball bounces in and out, in one side, out the other, in one side, out the other. Okay, so that's uh, animation in Photoshop. Once you're finished with your animation, you just come up to File and Export, Render Video, and you can render out your your video. You can render out your animation. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, um, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.